a little all havoc here. So in our last episode, the uh, ship imploded on itself. Uh, several suggestions, um, ranging from items left on the flight deck to uh, the piston exploding to the actual connector causing the problem. So when we were connected, um, the magnetic pull ripped the piston apart, actually. Um, so several different suggestions. Um, in any case, the piston being the highlight of that. So let's go over what we have left and how I was able to rebuild. So I collected everything from the crash site. There was an assembler left. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw that. Um, with the parts taken up from the uh, upgrade modules, landing gear, and everything else, I was barely able to get an assembler online. Or, I mean, a refinery online. And then on top of that, we're on top of a decent supply of iron. So I went down and harvested a lot of that. There was a lot of gold and uranium left in the crash site. So those were collected as well. So the uranium I'm harvesting through now because we have a reactor. I was able to get enough components between mining and or recycling of other parts to get a, a small reactor back online. Um, one solar panel. Uh, it's up there. And uh, I got an oxygen generator so we can get hydrogen. So we have hydrogen and oxygen since we have so much ice. May as well. I placed a connector here so we can increase our batteries on the actual platform itself. Um, I needed to modify the crawler a little bit because we had so much freight to bring back from the crash site. So this is the new configuration. Um, in the process of docking, I, I broke quite a few things, but the, it, in its current configuration, I think it's pretty good. The weights over the axles and all that good stuff camera so I can park it straight and I had to replace a solar panel I think twice because I kept smacking it into things. I moved the piston from the back to the front to allow us to dock it unorthodoxly but it still allows us to have that nice little parking brake of the piston. So that brings us to the main event. Um, our new launch vessel. I'm going to continue to build on this. Um, so basically it's four hydrogen thrusters again, four large hydrogen tanks, and then uh, down the spine is a hydrogen um, tanks like we were using on the sides. And then in between each hydrogen tank is a uh, oxygen farm, or generator, sorry, right there. And then um, that will be the launch platform right there. This is actually the rocket section, and then from here we'll be building upwards. So put like a refinery here, assembler here, uh, just the basics. Um, the goal is to get off the planet and get into zero Gs, and then we'll start actually building some decent ships up there. Um, let me know what you guys think. I was actually thinking about building like an actual ship here, but then I started thinking about in zero G, it's going to be so much easier. And once we get uh, platinum, we can start doing ion thrusters. And it'll take a lot of our uh, power requirements away. Look, hydrogen's really inefficient for uh, long term. For the burst to get off the planet, it's great. But overall, not so much. So we got... Uh, I put the solar panel up there. Um, figured, why not get it up a little bit higher. I have destroyed the iron farm down here. Let's go take a look. And here it is. So I'm not sure how much more we're going to be able to get out of this without having to go to another site. Because I'm starting to get rock or stone at each direction. This direction still seems to have some, so overall not bad. Uh, the uranium harvesting or being refined right now is just left over from the crash site, so I haven't even gone down and harvested more yet. So now it's like 130,000 of uranium. So power is definitely taken care of, so that's going to be pretty cool. So next up is just to get um, the basics on board of this. 
Um, I'm actually considering not even putting the actual machines on here, but just the components for those machines so, um, in a container. So basically queue up in the assembler, a refinery assembler, um, oxygen generator, and such like that, and just put the parts on board. It'll make uh, the actual building of this vessel a lot simpler. So, uh, let's see here. We're going to go back up here. Let's see. Do we have a, a bottle on us? Yes. Okay. Um, so, I think from here, using that idea, we could pretty much just straightforward take care of the rest. We can put, um, let's see. Let's look here. Okay. So, we take this, this off. Actually, take these off too. Put these back on. There. Um, let's put. A couple small cargo containers. We're going to need a cockpit. And. What else are we going to want? Let's see. We're not going to need an ore detector. Antenna would be nice, but those radio communication components might be an issue. So let's say we put this guy here, like so. And this guy's connector is on the bottom, okay. Put him there so we can connect it to here. So something like that. I mean, I don't see why these containers won't hold the components we need for the basics. Because once we have a refinery and an assembler set up someplace else, either in orbit or on uh, the moon or something like that, then we can continue to build from there. We don't need anything too much more complicated than that. Um, actually, let's put some oxygen on here. Go to Tonks, Hydrogen, Oxygen, all right. So you can put that like that. So now we'll have O2. We may as well put one on each side of here too. Medium one? Let's do the small ones. That and like that. All right, so we won't have to worry about blocking. I was going to put one here, but then that would block our ability to look to the side. So, all right, so I think this will be our launch vehicle. I think we're going to have enough hydrogen to get us off the planet at least. <clears throat> and we won't be using any pistons. So things should not go wonky. And it's relatively, I'm going to say light. I mean, for the amount of thrust we're going to be producing. Uh, I'm going to put small thrusters like in these nooks, not on these outer side. Let's do that real quick too so you guys can see what we're talking about. Um, small thrusters, there you are. Okay, so we're gonna put them here, like that, and not out here. So I don't think those will burn each other off. <laughs> I guess we can find out. Yeah, it's kind of disconcerting. I'm kind of worried about that now. Oh, cause what, okay, so what we can do is stagger them. So that one can go there. That one can go here. And here. And here. So that will cover all those directions. And still not point at another 
containment. I actually should put one. Is that still connected? Yeah, it is. We should put some retro thrusters on here. Let's just do the two. Actually, we can do three. It'll look wonky, but that's all right. We're not going for aesthetics on this one. We're just trying to get off the planet. Not too bad, I don't think, overall. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get to work. Um, I will bring you guys back here after a few. I'm going to get some welding done, get some supplies harvested, because... Um, yeah, it's going to suck because these things need those metal grids again. Uh, metric butt ton of them. So I need to go get some more cobalt and stuff, which is right out that way. So I'm going to have to go collect all that and get that start manufacturing so we can get these thrusters back online. What do you use? Um, All metal. That's not bad. Some silicone for the computer chips. But, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here. Get some resources gathered and see you on the other side of the cut. Okay, so we're back. And I got it all done. Well, at least I think so. Um, this is what it looks like. I made a few modifications as I continued to build and things started popping into place. I'll go over those here in a second. So um, we got the oxygen or hydrogen. You can kind of see it right there going up the middle. We have two of them. There's one there and one there. Uh, the conveyor connects to the oxygen generator and then connects to the hydrogen tank. So that's how that's piped in. That's how that's open. I could put 90s right there, but if we need to, we will. But uh, it should be all connected from there, down through there, back up to the middle. I uh, added a reactor. Um, let's see what else we add. We added a couple batteries and a couple solar panels because I realized we had no power management on board. Um, so overall, I think we're looking pretty good. It's all completed. Oh, well, guess not. I climbed inside. Guess conveyors don't show up as completed or not. So I need to double check that. Let's grab some motors. Um, assembler is kicking away, making a bunch of resources. Let's go ahead and look at him real quick. Production, just making a bunch of stuff. Um, just trying to get ready for leaving. I mean, getting a bunch of things together that we might need while we have the resources here. I also want to leave some resources on the planet, so in case something goes sideways again, we're not starting over from scratch. Oh wait, motors. Uh, inventory's full. Let's get rid of those. I think it was motors. I think the motors are large steel tubes. I know it was large steel tubes, I would have completed it. Alright, so let's continue to do a once over. Oh, I added a gyro. Forgot about the gyroscope as well. Um, so let's see here, giving another once over. Nothing red showed up in the cockpit when I climbed in. So, but conveyors don't work in that capacity. So, so let's go ahead and climb back in. I'll turn our helmet on because we'll drown. And yeah, everything is green. All right, that's cool. And we have power on board. That's rather nice now too so let's go ahead and climb out and as you guys saw in my inventory I have a bunch of ice so in theory we're going to go ahead and put in the ice and it disappeared hydrogen thrusters are all kicking on so let's see here let's go back in here K okay. thrusters all thrusters set to off. Okay. And then we should be able to start seeing oxygen. There we go. And hydrogen. So our tanks are filling up. I'm not going to set them to stockpile. I'm just going to let them fill up where they need to. And um, we can now take our helmet off because we don't want to suffocate. 
So, all right. So all I'm going to do is start stocking this thing with provisions. Um, we need to get all the uranium we can into this. And how much uranium does this actually hold? Is this a pipe dream to actually have this thing full? 10,000? I think it is. I think that'd be a pretty crazy thing to try to attempt. I mean, we have a lot of uranium down there, but still. So let's see. I think it's the refinery still kicking on it. Oh yeah, that's crazy. So what we'll do is we'll probably get uh, as much of this refined before we get ready to take off. I will be blueprinting it. Um, that's one of the things you guys had made comment on is to make sure to blueprint it just in case things do go sideways and a, and a world save does not, or a world save does stop us from reloading. But uh, let's see here. Production still going. We have plenty of supplies now. I went out, grabbed what I needed to, and then we still had, because the assembler had all the raw ore in it, it wasn't in a storage container. When we salvaged the assembler, we salvaged all the uh, components. So that was a, a pretty good win on that. I had to get very little supplies, but uh, overall we're sitting pretty good. So let's go look at cargo, hide empty. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be down to just harvesting ice. And see, we have... At one point, it was completely full, the assembler was. So I actually had to put the iron there. Um, so it's down to just going back to harvesting ice and getting it up in there. Until uh, it's all the tanks are full and we will be prepped for takeoff at that point. So we're going to wrap up the episode today. Um, again, I'm just going to keep harvesting ice wait for the assemblers to finish and shuttle all the supplies up there and uh, from there we will try again so hopefully in our next episode we will be attempting to leave orbit again so cool thanks for watching everybody don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked the episode leave some comments below what you think uh, about the new uh, launch craft <laughs> so thanks a lot for watching just havoc have fun Keep gaming.